Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amudan Shaktivel. In this video, we're going to see how we can automatically merge the pull requests that were created by the dependent bottom. Again, in the previous video, we have understood how we can create a, a, a PR to update the dependencies automatically, right? But in that, there is some manual efforts involved, just like you have to go and approve it yourself, and then you have to merge it, right? So there is two different steps that you can also automate. Again, you could also do it. If you have watched my uh, GitHub Actions playlist, I'm sure you would have done this by yourself. But in, in case, right, uh, if you wanted me to show how you can do it, so this is the video for that. Again, one risk here is, uh, in the previous video, there is no risk. We just create a PR and there is a manual effort involved. So people can take a look at the PR, make sure that everything is working before they merge it, approve and merge it. But here, we are going to automatically approve and merge it. So there is a little bit of risk that there can be some code that can be shipped. So in order to avoid that, um, uh, avoid the risky code being merged to the main or master branch, what we can do is have a good check. Okay, uh, In terms of development project, people normally run their unit tests to make sure that everything is in place before uh, they merge the code. Uh, similarly, you can also have for UA automation, like there is not something that you could do with unit tests. Even if you run unit tests, it's, it cannot really direct you to a lot of defects. Uh, instead, what you could do is, you can basically run some, some smoke tests, like three to five important UA test cases or API test cases, whatever it is, and then make sure that everything is working before you merge the PR. So that's quick condition, right? Without wasting much time, uh, let me open the Selenium, Selenite APM framework, right? So this is a project that I've been working on, uh, Selenite APM. I've been advocating to use Selenite and Selenite APM in your work, if you haven't watched my Selenite playlist, please do check it out. But yeah, this uh, here I'm gonna tell about a few things. Um, so this is the dependent bot YAML. I have added it. I have discussed about this in detail in the last video. Uh, we are trying to uh, maintain a package ecosystem of for Maven. Uh, the pom.xml is located at the root directory. We want to run a daily schedule um, and at particular time, and this is in UTC and we can have a maximum pull request of 10, uh, the commit message is MVN, right? So uh, it should be suffixed with MC, MVN. If you haven't watched my previous video, I will leave the link in the description. Please do check it out. Um, now coming back to the or original problem. So we want to automatically approve a PR created by Deepana bot and merge it. So when, uh, so I have given a condition clear, whenever there is a new pull request created against branch master, in my case, I'm using master branch, uh, jobs. So first job that it run is run unit test. And it can be smoke test in your case, whatever, just to make sure that the new dependency upgrade does not break something else in the code, right? That's what we want to do. Uh, so run unit test. Uh, and then here, I'm not running the real unit test just to save some time, but in your case, you can run Maven clean test and some unit test or the smoke test. Once this is done, so this is one job, right? So as we know, we can run jobs in parallel, but here this job auto merge dependent bot is dependent on the first job. Okay. Which means once the, only if this passes, this will get executed. Otherwise your PR won't be approved and merged automatically. Okay. So the name of the job is this, it can take maximum of 10 minutes. Uh, again, we want to make sure that only we approve the PRs that were created by dependent bots. Uh, we should not approve PRs that are created by real people because they will also create a PR against me. So, so again, you can apply condition like this and then say, uh, I also give certain permissions uh, for the GitHub actions to write on the pull request, to, to write some contents because we are using secrets.github GitHub token, which means this GitHub token is available whenever you have GitHub actions enabled in your project. You don't have to create it yourself. It will be automatically available. Okay, you have to use the exact same words. Okay, if you just change it to small cases, it won't work. Okay, again, you can research a lot about this, uh, uh, you know, uh, stuff. So if you notice here, uh, so this is the action that I'm using to approve and merge the dependent bot. So in GitHub Actions, everything has an action already built. Okay, you just need to search in Google, find the one that you know really suits you, and then you can just merge it. Again, there are different options available. How you want to do the merge method you can use squash you can use merge commits you can rebase uh yeah defaults to squash like there are a lot of other options that you want to play around with you can try all of them but in my case i'm going to use a merge method of rebase and i also wanted to target even the smaller minor dependency updates for example 
let's say there is this 2.7.0 if there is a new 2.7.1 i want to raise a pr get it merged and then uh, get it approved and then merged so even for the small ones i want to do this right so there are other other differences as well uh, let's see how it goes right so uh, let's do a commit and then here i say um, added action to approve and merge dependable yes right and let's push it to master but the problem is the dependable bot the time is set as 722 which means i have to wait until this time tomorrow so what i can do is i can basically go here check the time time is 736 what i do is change it to 738 um, and then and then i just do a commit right hit push and i pushed it now what happens at 738 uh, the dependable bot should create a prs and then this action should kick in and then you know it should approve and merge the prs so if you notice so so it kicked in so if you notice all these things are running and let's see what happens so it created a pr and then let's see if there is any actions happening so if you notice bump 2.7.0 to 2.7.1 so unit tests have passed auto merging is also passed so if you notice this also have passed so let's see the pull request so everything else is closed because it happened automatically so if you notice this pr is merged automatically who approved this pr the github actions because we use the token name as github underscore token which means it's a it's a token provided by the github action itself so yeah somebody approved this pr somebody merged the pr the dependent bot also did the branch so everything is already taken care of. you didn't do anything and there is some efforts uh, some failures you know if you're running your unit test something can fail um and then you know uh, uh you know you can you can see what is the failure let's say you are upgrading from apm java client 7 to 8 that means there are a lot of changes happen android element ios element got removed and everything is web element so in those cases uh, the unit test will fail or the smoke test will fail so you can make sure that you know you change all of the stuff before upgrading to the dependency hey amudan what's happening so there is one pull request that didn't get updated why is that because if you notice in the dependent bot we clearly mentioned um sorry so automatically merge here if you notice target only the minor versions minor changes but here 5.8.2 is changed to 5.9.2 so this is not a minor version change it's a, it's a little major version change so so it, it didn't approve it right so if you go to the checks okay it did it okay i think it's if it is major i think it should be of uh, 5.8.2 Two to six point something then it won't get merged okay i think it just took a little bit of time okay yeah i think everything is good now there is no pull request if you just take a pull again from the master right this time okay you have all the latest dependency with you right it's just that i just need to uh you know reload the dependencies and everything is already taken care of, uh, which is what we want, right? So, so yeah, that's how cool it is. There are certain problems with the dependent bot, right? So basically, if there are a lot of dependencies. It creates pull requests, individual pull requests for all these, which is one of the problem because you have five to six dependent bots creating it, right? But the other one is, um, you know, instead of, let's say, we upload, uh, you know, upgrade from 2.7.0 to 2.7.1. But let's say if there is a relation between Selenium and APM. So once you up updated your APM, the, the, the unit test might fail when you are trying to update to Selenium because these two dep dependencies should be upgraded at the same time. Okay. You cannot upgrade APM first and then you can upgrade the Selenium. You cannot do that because, uh, you know, the APM might also depend upon the latest Selenium library to do that. So in these cases, the dependent bots will, will give you a little bit of trouble and you can use something like Renovate. Maybe I'll also create a video about how to use Renovate. 
to manage the dependencies in a separate video. I hope you find it useful. If you find it useful, please share it with your friends. Um, I see you guys in another great video. Until then, bye-bye.